So with the build-up to the Royal Wedding, we thought it would be a great idea to get some of our students involved in a project, thinking about an alternative option wedding dress for Meghan Markle. The starting points for all of them tended to be Meghan herself, royal weddings of the past, and Hollywood. Straight away I knew I didn't want it to be white. Um, I use a lot of black in my work and I wanted to kind of keep it linked to my just design style and like aesthetic work. Um, so I started looking at both Meghan and Harry um, and I wanted to use sort of the men's tailoring and the men's like decoration and embellishment of like um, the guard jackets um, at the palace. For Meghan's side I looked into her background and wanted to try and find something that I was interested in. So I thought it was really interesting to look into um, the old Hollywood glamour and the black and white Hollywood films and that's where the more floaty kind of um, feminine side of it came in. I began to look at um, traditional dress and what most of the brides for royal weddings um, have worn. Um, but then I started to look at Meghan Markle and reflect on the fact that um, this is quite new for her to be um, a divorcee and to be American and of African American descent. Um, so I wanted to do something that kind of reflected that and the fact that times are changing. So I started to look at what the grooms wore and um, trying to marry together a contrast of like men's wear and women's wear and um, doing something that isn't like as conventional and isn't something that's that traditional. I wanted to try and create a dress that was sort of symbolising the merging of all the cultures. So I tried to use like, a lot of colour and then also like the floral prints in the in the Queen's dresses that she wears. It kind of reminds me a bit of curtains and I've tried to also put in this whole idea of upcycling. If I was going to actually make the dress, um, I would make it out of curtains. So it all, like this idea of a, a wedding dress that was actually really low cost but looked amazing and that's sort of like you've got someone with such a high platform and I think young designers should really try and always like incorporate that into their design.